U.S. President-elect Donald Trump will reportedly tap Iowa Governor Terry Branstad as the next U.S. ambassador to China. Trump has also reportedly identified the people he wants to head up three key government agencies. Noah Ran reports. U.S. media have quoted Trump's spokesman as saying that Terry Branstad, a longtime ally of Beijing, has accepted Trump's offer to be the next U.S. diplomat to China. Branstad's first encounter with Chinese President Xi Jinping was back in 1985 in Iowa, when Xi was an agriculture officer and the two have stayed in touch ever since. After news of his nomination, China's foreign ministry said he was an old friend. Sending the Iowa governor to Beijing is seen as a way to soothe trade tensions between the two superpowers. It may also be a sign that Trump is ready to take a less aggressive stance towards Beijing. The president-elect has accused China of being a currency manipulator and giving itself an unfair exporting advantage. China also did not take kindly to his recent phone talks with Taiwan's leader. Branstad's nomination will be made formal once Trump enters the White House in January. Trump is also said to be planning on nominating retired Marine General John Kelly to lead the Department of Homeland Security. He would be the third former general to join Trump's administration. Oklahoma Attorney General Scott Pruitt was also seen at Trump Tower in New York on Wednesday and is tipped to run the very agency that he has long criticized, the Environmental Protection Agency. Pruitt has sued the EPA numerous times regarding carbon emission limitations and has doubted human involvement in global warming. Professional wrestling executive and former U.S. Senate candidate Linda McMahon has reportedly been chosen to head the Small Business Administration. The prominent position of Secretary of State is expected to be announced next week. Noaram Arirang News.